It's like 7.40 and it's time to train. This training session was actually kind of tough. Not in the pushing so hard to grind through and make gains kind of tough, but in the like, I'm exhausted and my body doesn't want to cooperate in this uncomfortable position and I kind of don't want to be here kind of tough. We're working on the range of motion in my upper back, which is really important for the weapons that I do, which are straight sword and spear, but I was pretty tired from training the night before and just wasn't feeling it. like 10 a.m. and I'm already kind of beat. Uh, training this morning was kind of rough. It feels like so much has already happened today. What time is it? Like only 10 13 um, so I have a couple more hours of work and so I guess I'll just go ahead and start doing that. Yes you heard that correctly. It's 10 a.m. and I only have a few hours left of work. What is this madness you ask? So I recently switched down from a full-time role to one at 60%, meaning that now I work two full days and two half days a week. On this particular day, I got off at 1 p.m. ish, so not a bad deal. In the transition, I also decided that it was the opportune time to switch teams, so this is me watching a ton of onboarding videos for my new role. Woohoo! Okay, it's like 1.30 in the afternoon. I am just wrapping up work things, but I want to send one more email. Something interesting that's happening is that as I have been continuing to post on Instagram, a substantial portion of my following has been from Iran. And sometimes I'll get comments in Farsi and I don't know what they say and it's kind of a pain to copy them or screenshot them and then paste them into like Google Translate. And so I was thinking that it would be really interesting to just learn a very small bit of Farsi. Thus far, the comments have just been like, oh, so cool, just about that. And I'd love to just be able to read that for myself rather than having to go translate it. Um, and then I'd love to be able to just reply, thank you, or appreciate it, or something generically grateful. So I've been interested in learning Farsi. I don't have a lot of spare time. Uh, I've just been watching... Okay, well, so, okay, now I'm not working. This is not work. Um, but I have been watching some YouTube videos, um, but I found a coworker of mine who used to teach Persian calligraphy, um, and I would just love, <laughs> I would love, love, love to be able to do this. Um, I think it's so beautiful. I don't know what any of this means, but it's so beautiful, and I am considering setting a goal for myself, which is to one, learn the Farsi alphabet, two, be able to write it by hand, three, know some just very basic phrases. So what I'm gonna do before I log off from work is reply to an email to that colleague who used to teach a Farsi calligraphy course and see maybe he wants to meet up sometime, maybe he has some suggestions for um, just where to begin my journey. Also, on one of my other vlogs, a friend commented about my mechanical keyboard. Though I am not much of a mechanical keyboard nerd yet, I do adore my green switches. It sounds and feels oh so satisfying. Does anyone else have the issue where you start to write an email and you think it's gonna just take like 10 minutes and then you spend and then you spend a whole hour on it? Oops. Now I'm gonna move on to my next task of the day, which is logging off of work and working on my next vlog. The vlog that I'm editing is my interview with Sunny Lai. If you're interested in everything Taolu, definitely check it out. Link in the description. Also, as you can tell, I like to move around a lot at my desk for the sake of my hips and not getting stuck in any one position. If you're an athlete watching this, how do you prevent your hips getting stuck from sitting all day? I want to know, so please leave me a comment if you have suggestions. 
Okay, I am slowly losing daylight here. It's it's 5 p.m. I am not done editing, but I'm actually gonna hop on a call real quick. I uh, take a Chinese class with a bunch of other students. We're discussing the course curriculum, what we liked about the last semester, what we kind of hope for the next semester so we can tell our teacher what types of things we're interested in. Maybe I'll get everyone to say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm having more chicken and vegetables. I'm gonna go back and continue editing my vlog. Um, the main takeaways from my conversation with my other Chinese classmates were that we just had some adjustments like fewer vocab words, more focus on speaking, and getting more corrections when we say things wrong in class. In case you're wondering right now, I take a Chinese class with Shuo from Shuo Shuo Zhongwen. She is amazing and you should definitely check out her YouTube videos. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, so, I, uh, I edited, I took a nap, it is now almost 8 o'clock, it's time to go train. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Luckily, I only live 3 minutes from the Wushu Bon, so I can just hop in my car and, and make it to Wushu practice, um, despite waking up only a couple minutes before. <laughs> Tonight, my coach was helping me clean up some of my opening moves from my Taolu, especially the rhythm and intention. We also had a new student, which was great. Most of the other students at the school are over a decade younger than me, and this new girl was in high school, so even that was really a nice change of pace. She had a really great attitude and a lot of potential, but we haven't seen her in a couple weeks, so Kasara, if you're watching this, please come back and train with us. We would love to have you. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um... Luckily, today it was a relatively chill class, so we had a new student show up. She did a great job taking all of the feedback, but yeah, it made the class um, thankfully run a little bit slower. I was so pretty excited, so my coach also just gave me permission to share some uh, videos and recordings from our last performance and of the athletes um, on the Facebook and Instagram page, and I am looking forward to taking that on as a small project. As a favor to my coach, also just because I like I like social media, so that will be fun, and I'm excited. <laughs> it's time for bed. You're just kidding, I lied. It's not time for bed, it's time for stretch. At the time I was recording this, I was in the midst of a 30-day head-to-toe challenge, which means no skipping stretching, especially head-to-toe, even if it's 10 p.m. or whatever. So, gotta stretch. Okay, so <laughs> left side head to toe is coming along nicely. I can hold it against my forehead for like a couple seconds. Right side still has some tianbu kongjian. I think I'm like two shoulder toe, two shoulder toe away. Um, I still have a couple weeks, but uh, getting kind of nervous. Today was kind of a tiring day. I tried to do a lot. I had two training sessions some work, some editing. I hope that not all of my days like this are that busy. I wanted to do a day in the life vlog because I thought my life is at least fine. If someone else were living my life, I would find it interesting to watch a video like this to see like, oh, how am I doing all of the things at once? Um, especially now that I've switched to my part-time job um, back in Google land. I am now completely exhausted. I'm gonna take a shower and go to bed. Just kidding, I lied. Uh, I actually spent the last the last hour or so making a bunch of Instagram reels for my coach. Um, get excited if you follow us on Instagram because we've got some good stuff coming. Um, my Instagram is Rev Wushu and his and the school's is Champion Wushu Center. Um, but now it's time to go to bed. <laughs>